win over Indiana the night before. There's James. He was in attendance. Anthony Davis was in attendance too, for not, but not for long. He'd leave the game with a with an upset stomach. That's not good. Consuming raw or undercooked eggs may increase your risk of foodborne illnesses. Uh, Russell Westbrook, one for 13. Lakers shot 27% in the first half. They were down 15 at the break, 14 in the first quarter. I mean, oh, Damian Lillard. How about Damian Lillard? 18 of 83 from three this season, 22%. But you know that Big Sky was going to get it going, and he did. The Lakers give up 42 in the third, including 13 to Lillard. 42 points for Chauncey's Billups Club in the third. Lillard all over it. Lillard goes 6 of 14 from 3. He has 25, and the Blazers, Rip City, 105.9. And they preach the value of patience, guys. It's bumpy early. So, Magic, what are the keys for the Lakers to make this all fit? Well, first of all, I think you're right. Patience, number one. Number two, we got to remember what happened last night. Okay, for three quarters, the Lakers played pretty good, right? LeBron and AD, uh, I mean, they played like the superstars that they are. Mm -hmm. They just didn't get the help, right? And it was really in the fourth quarter that that's when Golden State actually took advantage and played faster mm. than the Lakers. Westbrook struggled because he was in first gear the whole game. To me, LeBron played faster than Russell did. He's got to play fast to be effective. And he was just in that. Sauntering. Yes. And I think he was nervous. First game sure. in the Laker uniform. Form, young man from L.A. Yeah. But he's going to have to find how do I play with these other two superstars because they're going to need his point production. And let's give Golden State a lot of credit. Those young guys, without Steph, because Steph was on the bench in the fourth quarter when they made their run. And they got some guys who can come in and fill it up. We saw Poole. We saw, you know, Porter. These guys coming in, they got a great bench. And I will say this. When Clay gets back mm -hmm. <laughs> and that young center gets back, Wise Wiseman, Wiseman, James Wiseman, they're going to be the team with the Lakers. I think that's the Western Conference Championship right there. Western Conference Championship. Them too. I, abs I absolutely agree with Magic. And, and here's the thing, right? Me watching the game last night, and I always harp on this. You have to take preseason seriously, yeah. right? And when you look at Golden State and what they did in preseason, they went undefeated. They gave them the new guys an opportunity to get implemented into the system. That's why Jordan Poole was comfortable out there. That's why other guys that, you know, uh, Iguodala and them was back into the system. You saw them cutting. You saw they had 31 assists, right? They were passing the ball around like the collection play that first three back first. <laughs> but then when you go back and look at the Lakers, on the other hand, they took preseason for granted. Yeah. Guys were taking time off. They wasn't building that chemistry. And when you're trying to win a championship, it starts from day one. Now, I do want to address the issue for us with Russell Westbrook. I hear all the nonsense saying it won't work. Some people saying bring him off the bench. And that's just flat out ridiculous. Here's the thing that's going on with Russ, right? Russell Westbrook is back home. In Los Angeles, in Los Angeles, California, yep. one of the biggest markets, one of the, the most, you know, historical franchises in sports. Right. And so what happened is that people don't realize what a basketball player is so much to deal with with coming home, not just on the court, off the court. You got family, you got friends, you got things that you're doing in the community. You got commercials that you're doing. That's why I always gave credit to guys like Magic, guys like Kobe, guys like Shaq, to be able to live the L.A. lifestyle, adapt, and put their work in. And I think Russell Westbrook just has to turn the page in that corner and make sure he says, you know what? I'm going to block out everything else that's going on that's not basketball related and let me lock in into the season. Mm, so on the other side of all of this, Zach, we have the Warriors. They had an impressive showing last night. What's the ceiling for them this season? We just heard Magic say that it could be the conference finals. I think the ceiling for them is higher than that. I think they could make the finals. Again, mm. a lot of that comes wow. down to Clay, and Clay's yeah. got to be 85, 90% of what Clay's to be. But I was high on this team going into the season, hit the over hard. Perk and I talked about it yesterday. Look, there's power, and you saw it last night 
of a team that knows who they are. They know how they want to play. They have a style that is really unique to them, and it's not easy to play against when Steph is running around like that. Jordan Poole's like a mini Steph <laughs> yeah. running around like that. They've they surrounded them with good passers, good cutters, selfless players, and there's just a lot to be said for like Perk said. You walk in opening day, we know exactly who we are. We don't need to sort anything out. We have a style. It's us, and you saw it the last 25 or 30 games of last year. They rediscovered what Warriors basketball is. Are they the best team in the West? No. Are they the favorites? No. We don't know about Clay, but they're going to be a problem if Clay comes back and looks good. Well, they had their anniversary. <laughs> I mean, it's a decade milestone. <laughs> Stop Clay and Draymond. They've all played for 10 years together. Yeah. And even though Clay is not there, you still know that this is our core, this is our identity. We want to run and gun, but we want to be smart. And I think you saw a team in the Warriors that knew how to play fast and move the ball versus the Lakers, who are trying to figure that out, especially with Russell. Well, well, Perk touched on it. Too much standing. In the fourth quarter, it was a, here, you take it, you go. You can't do that against the Warriors. We got to move bodies, move the ball. And then also, too, they got to figure out who's going to close it, right? Who's yeah. going to close the game? Because, see, now you add that other superstar. Yeah. It's not easy. In other years, last year, we knew LeBron knew where he was mm-hmm. going to get his shots. AD knew where he was going to get his shots. Now we add Russell, so they're trying to figure out, okay, right. are you going to take it now? Are you going to take it now? Right. And so I think we got to give the Lakers mm-hmm. a chance. It's going to be a month, two months. It's LeBron now for nearly 20 years that we are seeing the end of his indestructibility. Not mm-hmm. the end of his greatness, mm-hmm. but just just – he can't go on like this forever. We judge too many things with the standard of Tom Brady, who's moving around, let's be fair, relative LeBron to LeBron in a small spot. LeBron is up and down the court. It's called a pocket. A pocket. LeBron <laughs> has no pocket. That's right? right. And as a matter of fact, the other night, when he had that incredible reverse two-handed throwdown, I'm still looking at him and there's not the fluidity of movement because he's got injuries. LeBron didn't have injuries. The two things that always impressed me the most were LeBron James, Always makes the right play on the court, decision making. Always, 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 always. And he was indestructible. Greeny, when you have a series of injuries three times in four years, you're not indestructible anymore. And the Lakers are not going to be the Lakers that people expect if he's, you know. I I want to make clear what it sounds to me like we're saying. Stephen A, has the era of LeBron James being the league's dominant player come to an end? Um, I wouldn't go that far because I think when healthy, he could still be that guy. My question to Will Bond, albeit rhetorical, is where have you been? I mean, LeBron James was hurt last year, okay? The reality is... One is not a, you know... All all I'm trying to say is that what we're seeing right now is what we anticipated. Why do you think Russell Westbrook's there? He's four years younger, okay? He's averaging... He's shooting 26% for three-point range. He's averaging nearly five turnovers a game. But what did we say? We said LeBron is 36. And, uh, you know, Carmelo Anthony is 37. We're looking at Russell Westbrook. You're 32. You're going to quicken the pace. You're going to push the ball up the floor. And the combination of you with Anthony Davis should be able to spell for the games we anticipated LeBron was going to be out because he's preserving himself. That's the problem. Well, well, the me, fact that they don't look that great. Look, Not that LeBron is injured thing. right now. Stephen A anticipating something and seeing the reality of it, two different things. I was there when Cal Ripken suddenly had to miss games and was done being indestructible. I was there to watch Walter Payton no longer be indestructible. We see this from the greatest athletes of all time, and it's hard to watch. So, yes, you can anticipate it, but the reality of it is an entirely different deal. I'm looking at a total different lens, and I still have the Los Angeles Lakers as the clear-cut best team in basketball. Oh, please. That's Damn. what I have. And the thing is, I need James most teams. I, I need someone to check his glasses. <laughs> most teams struggle without their best player. LeBron James wasn't present. AD still had 28 and 19. Here's the thing: when they get none back and they get THT back, mm-hmm. their role players are going to fall into place. Okay. And I'm telling you guys, Clay's going to eventually come back. Maybe Kawhi's going to eventually come no, back. I- Murray's going to eventually come back. Don't disrespect the Utah Jazz. But I still think when the Lakers are healthy, right. they're the best team. Well, when they're healthy, that clause comes up listen, more and more listen, now. Listen. When they're healthy, here's what they're I am. healthy. Here's what I am going to disrespect. Those glasses. <laughs> those glasses. <laughs> There's something wrong with those glasses. These because glasses that's, just, so that's just not the case. Oh, here's the deal. Like I'm a, I'm a, let me put this on blast. <laughs> if Klay Thompson and Jeff Wise, James Wiseman come back, the Warriors winning the championship. Not the Lakers. 
Lakers can't mess with them. You got to have your point guard that can hit threes. You got to have your point guard that can avoid five turnovers a game. You got to have the combination of LeBron and AD doing what they're capable of doing. This is what I'm talking about when I'm looking at the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron, we've been talking about this for the last couple of years. We know how sensational he is. But there's a reason we said, is KD the best in the world? Is Giannis the Greek freak the best in the world? Because LeBron has been slipping just a touch. Not taking away from his greatness because it's still there. But does it touch. Is it help the reason it? why? It's, of course. Yes, I've been saying the same thing, Steve. Of course. A. He's had three seasons in L.A. prior to this one. He's only finished one of them healthy, and that was the one where they had the long layoff and then went to the bubble, and they win the championship. So, to your point, if he's all there at the end, maybe they are the team to beat, but that is a big if to the point that you made. Maybe a bigger if than it's ever felt like in his career. He's going to be healthy come playoff time. To me, Anthony Davis is more of a question mark about health than LeBron James. But we said this last year, true. James. He was the one that missed the playoff games true. last but, year. But LeBron wasn't himself, wasn't the indestructible LeBron we used to say. All I'm saying is, doesn't it bother you guys that they lost twice in this way? It's Oklahoma to, City. Okay, so okay, you got how many wins on the season? Right. Yes. Two. Correct. Both over 26 they, lead, the 26 they, point lead, 19 point lead, right. lost both games. They've had to force easiest, easiest schedule. So okay. you hope that they would get off but to a good start. You got Will Bond concerned about LeBron. Yep. Oh, you got him more concerned about AD. I'm most concerned about Russell Westbrook because to me, I know, listen, AD going to be healthy or he not. Period. LeBron going to be healthy or he not. Period. Russell Westbrook could be 100%, and this still might not work. So when we're debating, still might not work. When we're debating which of the Lakers' concerns is the biggest.